welcome back to KennySmithGuitar.com, and today we're going to learn my favorite G-Run, and uh, it goes like this. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to start out on our fifth string and uh, first fret. I'm going to slide that up to the third fret. So when we get there, I'm going to drop my pick down to my fourth string. I'm going to hit it open. We're going to take our index finger and I'm going to note right there, stay in the third fret. Note your fourth string on the third fret. When we do that, I want to end with the open third string. So, so far we got. Now what I'm doing there, I'm hitting all those notes with a downstroke and I'm kind of uh, doing what Lester Flat did with his thumb pick. He was probably doing all downstrokes. So I like that sound. And so I try to do that with my flat pick. So I'm going to do a downstroke here that slide, downstroke on the open D, downstroke on that noted F note there, that third fret, fourth string, and then downstroke on the third string. So all downstrokes. What you can do is uh, kind of think about Chuck Berry uh, with all those downstrokes. He did all downstrokes there, so keep it bouncing. Keep your pick bouncing. Just think Chuck Berry right there. Chuck Berry and Lester Flat. That's all you got to remember on that one. So now what I do after I hit that open G string is I come back into my rhythm uh, after I hit that open G. Now I'm going to do a strum right there, and I'm going to go up to my fourth string hit it open and do the strum and I'm going to end with the low G and I'm back into my rhythm so after that strum D strum G strum walk it right back and that's how you get back into the rhythm and uh, what you don't want to do is just let it hang um, you don't let that third string and then come back into your rhythm just get right back on your rhythm. It'll make the band sound better and uh, it makes your rhythm sound all, all more full. So don't let that uh, third string there uh, float out into space. Uh, <laughs> I like to come back in on the rhythm and uh, it makes the band sound better and, and makes your rhythm sound more full. So... It doesn't matter how many notes you uh, do there, um, you know, you can still end up that way. I always end up like that. That gets me back into my rhythm correct and uh, makes it, like I say, it makes your rhythm a little bit more full. The band's going to love you for that. So, uh, yeah, so have fun with this one. Uh, try this one out your next jam or whatever, but that's my favorite one. I uh, been doing that one for years and uh, it's it's simple, but it's effective. And uh, to just remember how to get back into that G run when you start it. I'm doing, I'm doing it right here. Got that low G and then you got that strum. So, so it's gonna sound like this when we're playing a song. back to KennySmithGuitar.com. I've been uh, uploading a lot of lessons and uh, one of the things I've been doing here recently is I've been trying to document all these uh, vintage guitars that's got these unique stories and I've been interviewing the owners and how they uh, you know how the guitars affected their life. All these guitars has got unique stories and I've been trying to capture that on film and then I play the guitar at the end. I play a song and let you hear the tone but a lot of this stuff is uh, oddball stuff. It's really rare. 
uh, some of the guitars I've been uh, filming. I've been trying to get the more obscure stuff uh, on film. And uh, all these guitars got these stories, and I just love it. And I think you'll like it too. But keep checking back. And i uh, got a lot more stuff. been working hard trying to get my that website built up. And i got a YouTube channel too, Kenny Smith Guitar and uh, keep checking with that. They're on both things. But if you go to the Flat Picker inside, those videos will be up there. And uh, also my YouTube channel, Kenny Smith Guitar. So y'all have a good day and keep picking.